haircut. Ooh, your boy. Looking looking real good right about now. Alright y'all, so I just got back from getting my hair cut and when I walked through the door I was like, why not make a video? I mean today's my birthday. Shout out to everybody who told me happy birthday. So um yeah. I've been looking at all my comments on YouTube and just seeing that you guys had a few questions that you want to answer. I feel like now is a good time to do a Q&A with PJ before I have to leave and go meet Kiara because she decides she wants to take me out somewhere for my birthday. So by the time you're watching this video, it's probably not going to be my birthday anymore. Sorry about that. I should have made this video prior to my birthday so you guys can tell me happy birthday or so you guys can just tell me that nobody cares about my birthday because I mean really and honestly it's just another day for me but let's get this video started question number one this is a question that I get almost on every video that I post about the Cobra how did I find it okay so I was just searching on the internet you know cars.com cars for sale car gurus all the places you find used cars I was like I said before I was in a debate between getting a 335i, a 370z, or a Terminator Cobra. I mean, some other cars were come to mind, but those were my top three. I was really leaning towards getting a 335i just because it's like it's a cheap, classy car, and people who are not car people they look at it and be like, "Man, that thing has to be at least twenty thousand dollars used," and I'm like, "No, it doesn't." But to make a long story short, I was on Car Gurus actually and I skipped over and found this car and I was just like, well, I can't pass this up. And another question by the way is how much did I get it for? I'm just going to go and tell you, I got it for a $14.9. Uh, of course I got a loan on it, I didn't pay for it cash. I am just a 21 year old trying to make it nowadays and so I don't have the money to just throw out on a car like that, but I did get a loan on it. Another question that I get is, were there any more choices? And I take this two kind of ways. One way is what I just answered. Yeah, I had more choices in mind um, of trying to get other than the Terminator. But the other way I think of this is, were there any more choices as in, could I have bought another Terminator other than the one that I chose? And honestly, yeah, there were two other ones I was looking at. One was black and another one was zinc yellow and I don't know how I chose this one I guess just because one of them was from a private owner and it had too many miles on it I mean I skipped over it was a better price than what I got but I skipped over it just because of the mileage and then the zinc yellow one I believe that got sold like right before I found the silver one but I can't really remember. I just got Pegasus out there and I'm loving her. Next question is, is the Terminator my dream car? To be honest with you, no it's not. I, like a year ago, I couldn't even see myself driving a Mustang. Like, I always slightly liked them, but that was just like from a sound aspect. I felt like they just sounded so mean and I just liked them for that, but me, Personally, I could never see myself owning a Mustang, let alone a Terminator. My dream car just so happens to be the Audi R8, and I guess you would call the another Genesis a built turbo or supercharged Genesis uh, one of my dream cars. I just love the Genesis. I don't know why. What camera setup or editing software do you use? Okay, so me being a beginner, entry level YouTuber I use basically the camera that all YouTubers use the G7X Mark II uh, I use a tripod, a gorilla pod and various methods of using those that's basically all that I use I put a sound screen on the top of this camera just cause the wind noise is terrible but as far as editing software, I use GIMP, which is free, and I use Lightworks, which is another thing that's free. But I'm eventually going to upgrade that the more money that I make on my channel. So that means subscribe. <laughs> Y'all roast me every time about this one. 
Why are my emblem slash lettering red? I bought them like that. <laughs> and I really don't like them. I really just took the red emblems off. Well, I took the paint off of the emblems and now they're back chrome. <laughs> You can uh, check out this video right here on this card and you can watch and see how I did that. Do you plan on keeping them red? No, I don't. I really want black lettering, but if I take it off, I'm gonna have to take off the black deck lid too because I don't know, it's just, I think it'll look tacky if I leave it on like that. And the last question that you guys have asked me is, am I ever gonna swap superchargers? To be honest with you, as of now, I believe that the Eden will be enough power for me. I can make enough power with the Eden, cause I'm not trying to go crazy levels yet, like 800, 900 wheel horsepower. So, in the near future, I think I'm just gonna port the Eden and get a smaller pulley and some other supporting mods, and then ride it like that for a little bit. But if I did just so happen to swap, I think I would go with maybe a Whipple over a Kenny Bell just cause I have a slight, a slight thinking that the Kenny Bell is overrated even though I know it's not don't roast me on this I know it's not overrated I know it's, it makes all kinds of horsepower but I think I would go with the Whipple over the Kenny Bell just cause that's just me I don't like getting what everybody else has okay so this just about wraps up the Q&A that I have. I'm actually about to go start getting ready to leave the house and enjoy my night. Cause I mean, it is my birthday. And remember, thank you again for telling me happy birthday. And if you didn't, it doesn't really matter. I mean, like I said, it's another day. But if you aren't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you so please. And maybe I'll catch you in the next video. Share this video with your friends and maybe comment down in the section below if you have any more questions that you feel like I need to answer or if I need to go more in depth on one of these questions or something like that. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. Thank you guys for watching.